space, the final frontier. Captain's Log, Stardate 7654321. Or was that yesterday? We are floating in the musical sector of the Quartet Galaxy, hovering above Opera Planet. Some of the crewmen have beamed down to the planet to trade with the friendly Singons who live there. At least they Stardate seem friendly. Oh, I've got to get rid of these things. Oh, so no, they're multiplying like rabbits. Hey, hey, hey! You look like a man of distinction. Oh, thank you. Yes, a man with a nice, big, happy family. <clears throat> and the big wallet too. <clears throat> Anyways, what? um, oh, nothing, nothing. Oh. Uh, you know, I've got a great deal for you today. See you today. Oh, I'm selling. Yeah. These rebels. Ooh. Oh yes, and the little lady at home would just love these, because women love these things. Listen. Wow, that's impressive. Yes, yes, and in Italian too. Oh, it's cute. Maybe I should get one of those for my daughters. Did you say daughters? Oh, daughters just love these things because they're just so cute and fuzzy. How many daughters do you have, sir? Well, I have an uh, older daughter and a uh, middle daughter, and then I have a younger daughter, which is really well, kind of a chatterbox. Yeah, oh, she, well, just, yeah. she just keeps talking and talking, well, and won't let get a word in as what tells you about school, well, about that's great, boys, I... about things like that. You know, it's just crazy. Uh, I don't yeah. know where she gets that from. Yeah. But anyway, you have three daughters. Oh, well, that is magnificent. You see, today I have a one-time only deal. Wow. I am selling... Three trebles. Three? Three trebles for the price of one. Whoa, how much is it for just one? It's cheap. Only a thousand dollars. What? <laughs> but for you, only two dollars and fifty cents. Oh. Well, all I have is just this one dollar. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Here's oh. your trebles. Okay. You have a wonderful Great. day. Yes, That yes. is nice. Look at these. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, you are so cute. Oh, that's great. Beam me up, Spuddy. It is time now to leave Opera Planet. Spuddy, are the engines ready to go? Aye, Captain, just give me a minute. We have one engine now functioning. Ah, 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 Aye, Captain, she's ready to go. Good, Spotty. Mr. Sprock, are all the crew accounted for? We're ready to go, Captain. Mr. Sprock, I thought I told you to get rid of that doll. But, Captain, it was a birthday gift. You've been getting the same birthday present for 400 years. He didn't mean that. <laughs> Guys, look what I got on Opera Planet for my daughters. Good man, aren't they cute? Gucci, Gucci! Ah! 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 The rascal bit me. He must be hungry. Crewman, what are those? Well, the salesman called them trebles. Trebles? The dreaded scourge of the musical sector? Oh no! Sound the alert! Sound the alarm! Everyone, battle stations, battle stations! Set your phasers to melt! Wait a minute! What are trebles? Captain, trebles are musical creatures that only sing in the treble clap, and they proliferate. Proliferate? You mean they can read? Spotty, I said they proliferate. They multiply like rabbits. Oh. Hmm. Oh, great. Captain! Captain! Isn't the Harmonize a trouble-free ship? Hmm. You're right, Spotty. This is actually a base clef ship. You know, crewman, I think we're going to have to dispose of these creatures before they can multiply. Multiply? I bet they can't even add. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Captain. I'm going to stow these in my room for my daughters. Sure you are.
I really will stow them in my quarters, and there'll be no trouble at all. <gasps> oh no! Ah. They're loose! Ah. And now there's five of them! I give up. What is going on, senor? We are having trouble with trebles, crewman. Trebles? Yes, they're already proliferating. Why, according to my calculations, we'll be buried in trebles in five days, three hours, and 42 minutes. I see, senor. Sounds like trouble. Yes. Nobody knows a trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. I killed it. Aye, Captain. A sorrowful situation. Uh, oh. Here he is! This is the guy, Captain, that sold me those troubles. Yeah, dude. I saw him hanging around the engine room, man. See, si, senor. And I saw him in the crewman's lounge. Well, I think they ought to throw him out on the street, Captain. Well, crewman, I think the only thing we can do is beam him back down to Opera Planet. Yeah, him and all his trebles. Yeah. Yahoo! Pack up your trebles in an you know, old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Where is our security guard? He's on lunch break, sir. Lunch break? If you want to get anything done around here, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> what happened to him? Have I seen you someplace before? Great Caesar's ghost! The crewmen are proliferating like rabbits! I just wanted to say that word in a sentence. There's no way we get rid of all troubles. What do we do with them? There's only one thing that you can do is to find a bass singer to sustain a bass note for 10 seconds. Then the troubles will flee to their cage. But Splock, you're a bass singer. You can sing a low note. But I'm a vocal. And vocals do not have enough emotions to convince the troubles to flee. Oh, Captain. my head. Oh, man. What happened? Here is the security guard, El Capitan. I convinced him to dish to deliver with sandwich. 
and get rid of their troubles. What do you want me to do? Sing us a bass note for 10 seconds. Certainly. are running into their cages. Guard, take this sing on to the transporter room and beam him down to Opera Planet. Yes, Captain. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling crewmen, all five of you. Well, crew, we are finally rid of those troublesome trebles. Warp speed, Mr. Sprock. Yes, Captain. <laughs>